guys what's up so i'm gonna be doing a um requested video for um from mexican chica 141 she's going on a date on saturday and she on saturday and she wanted me to do a look with not using like only using a little bit of makeup so that's what i'm gonna do everything's gonna be neutral and light and just soft and pretty I already started by putting my moisturizer on before the video and now I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer Ugh. sorry guys my nail broke or my nail polish chipped and Big piece of it chipped. So I'm taking concealer with a foundation brush. And I'm just putting it. Blending it out. But I really didn't. Um, because of the way I put it and I really flushed it out. It's kind of like if I was to take like the darkest shade out of here. I'm taking the darkest shade. And I'm just flushing it So. And now, and since I'm not using a regular liquid foundation and then a powder, I'm going to be taking a foundation powder. Powder foundation. I'm taking it with a big fluffy brush because the big fluffy brush won't pick up the product as much. It'll pick it up, but... A lot of it just flurries oh, out here. Hey, you got lunch, what about you? Last night, while we were sleeping, he downloaded an episode of Bobcat's Condo. What is Bobcat's Condo? I have no idea. But the J phone doesn't like it. How's it done? Because it's the J phone. Hey! Why'd you swap our hairs? I told you not to let Dustin watch that movie 
and he did it anyway. You scared him to death, so we had to babysit him all night. Hey, Zoe. Message. Great. What's up? Dustin's in Dean Rivers' office. That's fine. I don't know. And basically now with a clean brush, I'm just blending on my face. Since I want less makeup, I want closer to the bristles for Your more brother says he's control. And if you have <clears throat> oily, oily skin, you could actually, or if you do sweat a lot, or if it's a date, so if you get nervous and you perspire, just take some powder. It's kind of like an HD powder where it's really white. You just take it and kind of go around your face with it. You might want to pat it with a puff and then just kind of blend it out. It'll look clear on you, I promise. If you just lose a little, and the powder actually absorbs the sweat and all the oils. That's if you don't have an HD powder. If you do, pop that on too. And I just use my NYC matte powder foundation. Nice and mats out my face. So I don't have too much shimmer going on if I do decide to use some shimmery products. So basically for blushes, I want to go with something light and this is light but I also want to go for more of a mauve peachy look. So I'm going to mix these two. And it actually looks fairly pretty when blended out. And again, big fluffy brush kind of helps it to, you know, kind of fade out. So just, I like to apply it on the apples of the cheek and then kind of go out and smile while you're doing it. And the apple on my cheek starts here, so I'm going from here and I'm going out. And the only reason I'm explaining it like this is because in case you guys don't know how to actually apply these products. I don't want you to act for me confused. So now I'm just taking a clean brush and just blending it out. I wouldn't do blush and bronzer. I do one or the other. You know, if you do want to kind of define your nose or something, I'd use a darker concealer and just blend it out before you powder your face. Now for your eyes. This is going to be one of the most simplest looks. Um, and when I mean that, I mean you're not going to be doing 10 million steps. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a very simple look. Um, so, yeah, you want to see... Very simple, very casual, casually simple. champagne color yeah. in my eye my and I'm taking some of my mattifying powder on the other side of the brush because what's going to happen is I'm going to apply it over it so it's not so shimmery I mean I love learning new things in my pajamas and I'm not the only one. Every day, 
Now, depending on your skin color and how the colors actually look on you, is up to you. Some people don't care the way the color looks on them. You know, I definitely know if I was darker skinned, I probably my preference my preference i'd say something more towards my skin color but it's all up to you and how you like to do your makeup I'm kind of dragging it to my inner corner and blending it out to my corner and blending it out just so my eyes could look kind of more wide awake. Okay, now you want to go with a really, really light kind of crease. So I'm just going to take a light brown. And I'm just going to start off by getting right here. And just going in, just to kind of deepen up the crease a bit. Very light champagne like eye. Uh, 